Look at this. We literally ran into a library to read about our life. Look at this. What is going on, guys? Savage here. In today's video, we're going to be spectating some random quads, going through the repetitions, talking about rotation strategy, as well as gunfights in real time, and picking a little bit of fun whenever we get an opportunity to. Speaking of picking fun, I am repping the Dallas Cowboys jersey in honor of the game tomorrow. Um, This video is going to be posted on Monday, so either A, you guys will slay the absolute shit out of me, or B, I'll be slaying the absolute hell out of every 49ers fan on YouTube. But if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on the channel. Subscribe today. What the hell just happened? But without any further ado, go ahead and dive into this gameplay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Spectating Dolly Niadayo. I think that's how you pronounce it. I tried really hard. Getting a nice little knock. I don't see another enemy on UAV, neither do they, and they're kind of still looking around. Jay Dizzle, hmm, poor Jay Dizzle, a poor SOB. But right now is the time where we need to be kind of moving around, getting our eyes on everything around us. That way, if enemies are pushing us, we can we can try to see it. Enemies come up our left hand side. You can hear them come up the staircase. But like I was saying, this is the time whenever you don't know where the enemies are at and you're good and the entire building is safe, you need to start peeking the outer windows, the doorways. That way, if enemies are pushing like that one did, you guys can catch them out in the open. We're fortunate that he did not execute a teammate and that he tried to outplay the entire squad. Otherwise, we'd be down a man just because we were hiding inside of a building, not really doing shit. I understand you want to stay safe when you're plating, but again, you want to always try to get eyes on what's around you. You don't have to sit there and just body check a window but at least peek it here and there. And, and again, try to catch an enemy rotating to you so you can catch them out in the open. Pop that plate, Dolly. These names though, brother. It's gonna be a Western rotation. We already have two most wanted bounties. And of course, a lot of teams sitting at Arsenal fighting. I would imagine there'd be more over at Village. And Blue's gonna go ahead and move out and try to make his way to Docks. Not really sure why we're going to Docks. Maybe he knew something we don't. You could definitely catch enemies at basically any compound, but I think I'd rather go to compounds where there's other squads. Unfortunately, Green's on his own by himself. There's a helicopter nearby. Let's go spectate Green, see what he's about to get himself into. Nothing much as the helicopter just flies away safely. But look at this separation right now. This is how teammates get picked. You do not want to be in Green's position unless you're an absolute GOAT. He's rocking three kills, so he's a little bit confident, but with Caldera and the way the map is designed, no matter how good you are, if you guys are rotating out in the open, you're gonna have a very hard time getting to safety if you end up getting picked. Forgive the cough, I still have this lingering pile of shit, man. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some sneak. You guys want anything? I got, a, I got a tower of flavors. What are y'all craving right now? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll go ahead and grab one off the wall for you next video. That's how you know I'm not a bandwagon fan. I'm, ra I'm rocking the Romo jerseys. To be honest, are any Dallas fans technically bandwagon fans since we haven't won in like 27 years? Nope. And again, the reason why I didn't want to come here is because you do risk it being slow. You want to go where enemies are at. A lot of players, they just want to gather loot. They want to go somewhere safe. I don't mind players landing somewhere safe, but if you guys are going to play safe, you're going to have a very hard time at one, improving, two, having a fun game, and three, winning. For some reason, in players' heads, if they just play slow and passive the entire game, they have a better shot at winning. But it's actually reversed. If you're not out there helping other squads wipe other teams, by the time the end game comes, you're going to be cold. You're not going to be warmed up. Um, and there's going to be a lot more teams because you weren't out there slaying them. And again, we have blue and orange pushing up, trying to flank on whatever's going on to the north-hand side. And orange and green and purple are just kind of sitting stagnant. Purple's actually just messing with a whole other squad. He's getting the downs, but... To be honest, I don't know what the hell's going on right now. I really don't. 
Green loves the loot. Dolly's getting kills from range. Good on him. Let's see how this close range fight goes. Not even looking around for another enemy, dude. He literally... Guys, where there's one, there's probably more. Don't just get complacent because you got a kill. Remember, you got three other enemies possibly in the same area. And you need to keep your eyes open. Blue leaves green by his lonesome. The enemies rotate with a live ping down the middle. We better capitalize on that, and we do, thankfully. Need to pop that reload vehicle over to our 105. This is the squad that Purple's been fighting. Normally, I'd be against you guys picking fights on multiple squads if they're not even bothering you. Um, especially since we had a squad that was up close and personal on us and took out green. Um, but it ended up working out kind of. I really hate to see teammates lose their life because of lack of teamwork. In that situation, all four of us should have bum rushed those two enemies and taken them out without any loss of life. Now we have to waste money that we've been looting for whatever reason. And that's going to take away from our UAVs, take away from our self reses, and put us in a little bit worse position than we possibly could have been in. A lot of times we spectate these teams that we critique win the game but just because they win doesn't mean they won efficiently there are better ways to winning to getting kills to having strategy to going throughout the map to increasing your kill count and so on and so forth and that's the whole point of improvement even your best players in the world are consistently improving and adapting to different metas and different strategies and new maps Also, guys, if you haven't tried Sneak Energy, make sure you do so and use code SAVAGE at checkout. Let them know who sent you. Let them know so they give you the best flavor in the world. Oh, my God. I'm sitting here promoting. They're getting f***ed up. Enemies above us, top of the rooftop. We need to change our position big time because they know where we're at. There it is. There it is. And again, that right there is what I always preach. When you are plating up, you need to rotate out of that bad area. Do not ever just get back in a corner and start popping plates like a little gopher. Try your best to maneuver and change positions. We didn't have to run straight at the enemy, but we could have definitely tried our best to get out of that spot, but we didn't. And here we are spectating green once again. Rocking one and a half plates. So oh, I'm sorry, one plate and uh, yeah, moving on. The enemy team that wiped our squad is really aggressive, shooting us at range, trying their best to finish us off. And here comes the helicopter, playing the ride of the Valkyrie with the minigun. We got enemies on the ground level, and he's just sitting there panicking, and he gets wiped. Why not get in the berth and drive off? Dude, that's an aggressive squad, and ladies and gentlemen, moving on to spectate, hopefully, the aggressive squad, Team TV and company. Who the fuck is this guy? Guys, look, I don't understand. <laughs> Since this new map came out, there's this weird thing to where when, when a squad kills our team, if it's, if it's a bad squad, it just makes us spectate that bad squad. If it's a good squad, like the TTV over there, we have to miss out and spectate this shit here. <sighs> Fucking Ravensoft. Oh my gosh, and here we are moving on to this guy. No idea what the hell is going on, but here he is. L-Man, the L-Man squad, hell yeah. L-Man gang, 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 gang. Does that mean they're taking L's left and right? Cause they're all dying. So let me ask you guys right now, right this second in front of everybody in the world, what are we doing? Look, this area, this part of the map has been looted a hundred times over. You could probably hit some of these little hangers in front of us, whatever you want to call them. You might be able to get some loot out of there for sure. But the main buildings, the hangers, they're already looted, brother. They're already looted. So we're saying that, let's go ahead and find some money and get our damn teammates back. Yeah, that's going to save us. That's gonna save us right there. See, his teammates even marking like, bro, check out the other buildings, dude. These ones are already looted. What are you doing? Oh, fucking weird. Who would've thought? Who would've thought? What we're witnessing right now is a player who has no idea what to do. Already looted, already looted, running around, 
A lot of dead bodies. There's also a supply crate around here. We could potentially walk ourselves right into a foreman, fully kitted, fully loaded, ready to eat. And this is this is the way. This is the way. Now you gotta respect the aggression, I guess, right? But I have a feeling like he thought that might have been a most wanted bounty and not what it actually was. When it's breaking to our right hand side, somewhere in this area here could be delayed. Highly doubt it. There's probably a squad coming. And instead of trying to peek it and figure out what's going on or change position, or rotate around, we're gonna be crouch walking and ADSing in the open with no cover. Look at this. Look at the just strategy we're witnessing live right now. Oh my, the crouch walking is fucking impeccable! They need to remove the crouch entirely because it's useless. So, how are you guys doing today, man? How's Warzone been treating you guys? Y'all been playing any other games recently? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I've been kind of seeing a trend of Warzone's decline, at least streaming-wise. Um... It's not pulling as many viewers. You guys in the comments don't really seem as interested in Warzone as we were back in the Verdance days. I really thought Caldera or the new map would bring back the love we had for Warzone in the early days. And in reality, it kind of just feels like a whole nother game. Now I'm not hating, there's a lot of great things. I love the map, there's a lot of great things about it, but something just doesn't feel right. Something feels just off doesn't feel as fast paced doesn't feel as it's lacking energy i really can't put my finger on it. if you guys have figured it out let me know please in the comments but some, something about this mode map weapon something is just off big time here we are just well he might have got stuck in, stuck in the loadout if they still have that freeze and shit going on but we do have a loadout we might want to go to l man l man five what are you doing? He thought about that trophy system. He's like, oh, I already have one. Shit. Let's see how long it takes for him to realize there's a loadout over there. Who knows, though? You know, I'm hating on him for not going to load out, but he might not have his weapons leveled. So he's, my, he's probably like, you know what? I like this gun right here. I got, I got me what I like. I'm going to play this. We are marking a building. I'm going to be honest. I was too busy looking at the mini map. Oh, here we are marking the enemies in front of us. There's two in the tower just kind of sitting up there. And again, this is just kind of the given. So in a matter of 30 players, we've literally spectated Favre buy back one teammate and crouch walk his nuts off. The intensity in war zone is completely gone it really is oh fucking weird crouch walked in front of a window he stood there just face checked him and he shot you in the nose who would have thought look at this we literally ran to a library to read about our life look at this shit he's marked it up orange is at least rotating trying to loot and find money oh oh holy shit how weird is this the tent that his teammate marked earlier had boxes that were unlooted the whole time. Isn't that exactly what we're talking about? Mm, damn. Maybe that's just a common sense thing. I don't know. I think a lot of players just fall into the habit of not uh, panicking. I really don't know how to, how to phrase it. People just expect players to come to them and them get kills and increase their kill count. People just think that guys out there dropping 20s, 30s, and 40s are literally just sitting stagnant and enemies are just coming to them like it's no one's business. But that's not the case at all. You're level 228 prestige, brother. Like there's, you need to have some form of idea of what to do. Going one way, going another, going front to back, back to front, side to side, sitting behind the car. Here's a way to think about your gameplay. Do not do anything without a reason. And if you don't have a reason to do anything, make one up. Always keep your mind busy and thinking. If you're ever not thinking, you're fucking up. 
Orange goes down because he's by himself trying his best to fight whatever is going on there marking the enemy for us and here green is just running away again probably going to go to a buy station and buy back his teammate so he can allow them to die once again now what buy to go to of course this is the one to, to, to go to you don't want to go across the field and have to cross back that's just a death warrant but we need to go fast my guy let's go Not to mention, Circle's getting really small. We have nine teams total, 24 enemies. This is the one of two buy stations left in the next zone. Sorry, one of three. But there's a lot of enemies around here. So the moment we buy one guy back, we're probably going to get shot at. We would be lucky if we don't get shot at instantly. Basically, more of my story is this buy station is going to be hot. You might want to hurry the hell up. I don't know why we just jump through the window. Does he peek the right side? Oh, crouch walking. This is the one. Yeah, guys, if you crouch walk, you go invisible. Yeah, if you, if you didn't know that, that's why you're loot. Bro, we have not we have more money, homie. Farv. You guys ever see Super Troopers? He's playing just like Farv would. And still, I'm just going to throw that out there. Game might not have a loadout, but level 228, I would like to hope so. Even if you don't have a loadout, dude, at least get your perks, my guy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's move on. What are we doing? <laughs> Look at that slide cancel. Holy shit. Now, I'm going to be honest. A lot of you guys are like, damn, he didn't know he was there. But remember, Green was shooting at them earlier. Green marked it earlier. If he was paying attention to spectating his teammate, he should have known that the enemies had an angle on him. But here we go. Who just died? Was that Slim Shady or was that Pepe's E. Iguana? Agu 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 that guy, purple. All right, Amelia is looking like he's going to get to loadout. Now, look, loadout isn't an impossible task. We just got to win our fight. Enemy right next to us, breaking windows. Very dangerous because now the enemies know we're here. We have a freaking pistol in our hand. Hates us in mini map. That's a, that could be a crucial mistake. Hey, guys, you know what's a good idea? The enemy didn't hear me break the window. I'm just going to throw a decoy in here so they know that I'm here anyway. That's a 400 IQ play right there, boys. Wow. And again, we're still looting. We are at the end of the game, and we are still looting. Now, a lot of you guys like Savage. They want to get the teammate back, bro. Calm down. Why would you want to get purple back after what we just witnessed? Why? We had enemies to our right hand side. I wouldn't be surprised if we got clapped. We got the guys in the tower still. We're not even hiding our body from it. We're just kind of sitting out there. Luckily, we don't get shot. Move on to Green, who's in the middle of a combat right now. Two guys out in the open. You better kill these guys. Don't execute. You got a whole mate, bro. Bro, gas is coming in. He's probably going to die. Focus on the guy right now. Yeah, focus on the guy. He's probably going to kill you guys. Look at that. Fucking weird. Again, you got to read the situations. Gas is coming in. The dude is crawling. The enemy is close to us. It's a 2v1. Why would we not both focus on going on the left-hand side away from the gas and gatekeeping the enemy from coming in the zone? And because he didn't do that, Slim Shady has died, and we're moving on. Slim Shady, he was born in 09. Holy fuck, I'm old. Oh, my God. enemy out in the open we try to push them on the left hand side and unfortunately because of the gas coming in from that direction we do lose the gunfights because of the gas mask animation going over to emilio who's hiding behind the loadout right now farv i love you brother i'm happy you're crawling but you're you're not gonna make it my guy just just lay there just lay there and bleed out and enjoy your life for the last few breaths you have what are we looking at homie we he's like let me let me look at my dead teammate's body real quick and see if uh if I can go in there and res them. How do players still play like this? That slide cancel though. 
That slide though. Here comes the crash walk. Look at look at the crash. Look at the crash. Look at this. Lasers beams going around. Enemy taking our vehicle. We try to jump in it. Are we just gonna ride? Enemy jumps out because he's not an idiot. And there we go. Big worm getting the kill, guys. You could tell they weren't thinking about nothing. We literally just witnessed that entire team buy each other back 19 times and not. Oh no, they did get a kill. They got two kills actually. So good for them. But they didn't do anything. And why didn't they not do anything? Because they didn't come up with a plan, and they didn't. And because they didn't come up with one, they didn't execute the plan. They sat up and hid the whole time. They were cold the whole time. The benefits of being an aggressive player is to stay hot, to stay warm, to stay on fire. The moment you guys just slow down, slow your roll, you have a huge opportunity to lose in your 1v1s no matter how good you are. So here we are in a 4v4 situation. I would say we're kind of split pushing differently, but he does get two knocks and one execute because of it. So that might actually work out. Beautiful shots to the Brent. Unfortunately, the enemies are right next to him. Green get the res, green get the res, green get the res. There you go, that's close. Now, again, because of separation, our teammates cannot help us out. So those enemies could potentially, <laughs> could potentially push the shit out of us and it looks like they're going to. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be so confident peeking like this. Daddy ain't gonna help you. They know you're down here. Green, fortunately able to suppress the enemy. Daddy actually might help them because now we're coming up the back inside. We get one knock, execute, and there he is. GG. Wow. Now originally, because a lot of you guys are now like savage, that was fucking the dumbest thing you ever said. Uh, when I said Daddy's not gonna help you. So in a team fight like this, and you have enemies on the high ground. What do I always say? Try your best to always peek ridges, windows, and doorways and keep visual on the enemies so you can see if they're pushing you, right? So if the enemies we just killed had that mindset, the common sense basic mindset, they would have seen us pushing and Daddy wouldn't have helped us. But because they were both laying prone, hiding by a shed, that was their outcome. Now the guy that was laying right in front of us that we didn't even shoot at originally, shame on him for not having a reaction time fast enough to snap on us and kill us. He had an easy drop on us because we focused his teammate first and he didn't, he hesitated and he died because of it. Now, shame on his teammate too, because his teammate got shot. We transitioned to him and his teammate still had no idea what to do. So basically, the, I'm trying to explain this since we can't really go back and rewind since this is a live version of the Spectate series. The moment we shot at player number one, the guy further away, player number one, we transition to player number two, the guy laying prone right in front of us. At that moment, player number one should have instantly looked at his screen, saw the hit indicator direction, turned to us and shot us and clapped our cheeks as we were shooting player number two. But again, both of those players hesitated. Both of those players played extremely passive when they really had the high ground in a better position. It wasn't a 4v2 fight. It was a 2v2 fight because it was only two of us up there. Technically, it was a 2v1 at the end. They should have won that fight, but again, because of their lack of confidence, their lack of strategy, their lack of paying attention, the, the terrible reaction time, they completely threw the game. Guys, make sure the moment you get shot, you notice instantly what direction you got shot from. That will change your gameplay immensely. If you guys pay attention to that hit indicator, it will allow you guys to do so many things. One, turn on the enemy. Two, you need to high tail and run it out of there. You don't run towards the enemy. You run away from the enemy. And three, give you accurate call outs for your teammates. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. I'm tired of spectating players playing like this. Level 223, what are we doing? But until next time, guys, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.